Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Millie and I am a bookaholic. There. I said it. It's true. Today I have eight books to talk you through today and I also wanted to talk you through the places where I got the recommendations from because I've joined a few book clubs, um, just online ones, uh, since the last video that I did like this and most of these books were recommended to me there so I wanted to talk you through that. So grab yourself a hot beverage and let's jump on into the video. So the first page that I wanted to recommend to you, I will pop up screenshots of the pages here, is Beth's Book Club. They have nearly 35,000 followers on Instagram, so I really feel like I'm in safe hands there. I really feel like, you know, they know what they're talking about. And a few books that I have in my pile to show you today are from this page in particular. The page is absolutely beautifully set out the recommendations are really thorough like the descriptions of the books and sort of saying if you like this book then you will also like this one that sort of thing so I feel like I'm in really safe hands and I know that I won't be wasting my time getting a recommendation for a book that I maybe won't like. The second one that I wanted to talk about is a newer one uh, this is book clubs for babes I originally followed this on Facebook and I'm now following them on Instagram as well they have a great range of bookmarks and tote bags as well. I do have a tote bag coming to store all of my books in and this page as well has um, two books every month that they recommend and then at the end of the month they do a book club and talk about those books and it's just a really great community on the Facebook page. I had said, you know, I really like this book, can you recommend some other ones to me? So some of these books are from that post that I did on their Facebook page. Um, and I just really like the sort of community aspect of it where it's the group on Facebook and everybody just chats and asks for recommendations and you just pop in and see what people are talking about and it's just a really lovely space. Another one that I followed that I um, really enjoy looking at but I don't know if I've actually got any recommendations from this pal today, I can't remember, but it's Book of the Month just all one word book of the month and they have nearly a million followers so again really safe hands a really great community of people they have different people i think writing for different posts and sort of publishing their thoughts and things like that all of the pictures on these instagrams as well are absolutely beautiful it's just a really aesthetically pleasing place and I'm sort of curating my Instagram feed to be more like that and I'm really enjoying it but yeah this is one where you get a really wide range of books because it's not tailored just to like where book clubs for babes is sort of my age group I, I feel like and pretty much all women I assume so all people that maybe read all the same sorts of things whereas book of the month is just loads of different things and you sort of have to go through it and see what grabs your attention. And then just a few that I wanted to mention that are independent and um, just one person writing about the books that they have read. So I follow Melissa's World of Books. One of these books is recommended directly from her Instagram page and I will get into that. She writes really in-depth reviews and gives a five star rating on each book and really gives you a feel for each book so I really enjoy her feed. Then there is The Bookish Blonde. Again, she just goes in depth into one book and gives you a feel for the book. And the last one that I wanted to talk about is The Ladies Library. Again, just another one woman show, a mom to one, she's a student. She has nearly 5,000 followers on Instagram. So again, someone who really knows what they're talking about, reads lots of books and I feel really knows their audience and what their audience wants to read. So let's just get into the books that I have picked up for my winter reading list. So the first one isn't recommended by any of those people. This is The Wisdom of Sally Red Shoes by Ruth Hogan. Now I picked this one up because my favourite book from last year was by Ruth Hogan. It is The Keeper of the Lost Things. It is an absolutely amazing book. If you haven't read The Keeper of the Lost Things I would highly 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 recommend it. By far my favourite book that I read last year. It was so so heartwarming and just a really really 
lovely lovely book really fell in love with all of the characters in it and i just the way that it was written it was just beautiful i would really really highly recommend reading that one if you haven't read it before so i picked this one up because it's by the same author and i thought i'm bound to enjoy it so this one says masha's life has stopped once a spirited independent woman her life has been forever changed by a tragic event 12 years ago unable to let go of her grief she finds solace in the silent company of the souls of her local victorian cemetery and at the town's lido 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 how do you say that let me know <laughs> But a chance encounter with two extraordinary women, the fabulous and wise Kitty Muriel, a convent girl turned magician's wife turned 70-something roller disco fanatic, and the mysterious Sally Redshoes, a bag lady with an amazing voice, opens up a new world of possibility and a chance to start living again. But just as Masha dares to imagine a future, the past comes roaring back so i do feel like this isn't going to be the sort of thriller um sort of crime book that i was looking for recommendations for before i do feel like this is going to be sort of a a heartwarming lovely sort of book i mean it even says one of the um reviews here says filled with hope and the power of friendship and i just think that's lovely and i think especially at the moment where we're not allowed to see our friends i really think that this is going to be a lovely lovely book so that is the first one on my list the second one that i picked up is jojo Moyes. i have heard amazing things on all of the book clubs that i follow online all of them have recommended a Jojo Moyes book at least once and this is Me Before You. So this one says Lou Clark knows lots of things. She knows how many footsteps there are between the bus stop and home. She knows she likes working in the buttered bun tea shop and she knows she might not love her boyfriend Patrick. What Lou doesn't know is she's about to lose her job or that knowing what's coming is what keeps her sane. Will Trainer knows his motorcycle accident took away his desire to live. He knows everything feels very small and rather joyless now and he knows exactly how he's going to put a stop, stop to that. What Will doesn't know is that Lou is about to burst into his world in a riot of colour and neither of them knows they're going to change the other for all time. Again, I think this one is just going to be sort of a heartwarming, lovely book. The review that they have put on the top of this says, truly beautiful, made us laugh and smile and sob like a baby. You simply have to read it. So again, I think that this is one that's going to be a sort of heartwarming, lovely book that will just make you smile and make you cry probably and um, i am not adverse to crying at books i do it all the time i definitely cried at the keeper of the lost things spoiler alert you will cry at it but yeah i i really love books like this and i think you can try and read all of the sort of thrillers and get away from that heartwarming feeling of getting to know a character and then seeing them happy but that will always be the kind of book that i enjoy so i picked this one up and i am excited to pick up more from jojo moyes if i like this because like i said loads of book clubs online have recommended loads of different jojo moyes books so definitely an author to keep an eye on so the next one on my list is The Light Between Oceans by M. L. Steadman. This is one that was recommended on Melissa's World of Books and she wrote on her Instagram review, five stars. Firstly, this is my favourite book I've ever read. I read this book a few years ago and then she's put 2016 question mark, so she read it quite a while ago. And this book has stuck with me since. I will never forget it. And then she goes on to review the story and all of that, which I don't want to read um, so that I don't ruin it for myself and then she writes my verdict go and buy it now so highly highly recommended I have seen this on other places as well but that is the first place I saw it on Melissa's World of Books and this one says a boat washes up on the shore of a remote lighthouse keepers island it holds a dead man and a crying baby the only two islanders Tom and his wife Izzy are about to make a devastating decision they break the rules and follow their hearts what happens next will break your a hundred percent I know I'm going to cry at this I can tell you now I'm going to cry at this I know I am and that's fine 
I love having a good cry. It's good for the heart. So the reviews on the back are just single word reviews tender, compelling, heartbreaking, gripping. I really think that this is one that I'm gonna really enjoy and sort of cherish. Um, everybody that I have said about this book to has said how amazing it is. Everybody has really, really highly recommended it. I don't think anybody said that they don't enjoy it. So really, really looking forward to getting into this one. I do definitely feel like I'm gonna have to be sort of emotionally stable to read this book. Like, I can't read this one if I am having a bad day. I definitely need to be in like a happy headspace to read this one. Um, so yeah, maybe not top of my list at the minute, but really looking forward to getting into that one. So the next one, I don't think this was recommended by anyone. I picked this one up because Harlan Coben is the author of this book and he, I assume it's a he, I don't know. Harlan? Is that a boy name? I don't know. This author wrote The Stranger which was on Netflix and it was such an amazing series on Netflix. If you haven't watched it I highly highly recommend that you do. I had to watch it twice just to get my head around it all. If you've watched it then you'll know what I mean. It is a little bit all over the place but really really enjoyed it. So when I saw that there was some books on the eBay page that I get my books from. I had to pick this one up. This one is Harlan Coburn Run Away. So this one says, your daughter is missing, you'll risk anything to find her. And then you see her frightened and clearly in trouble. You approach her, beg her to come home, she runs. You follow her into a dark and dangerous world where no one is safe and murder is commonplace. Now it's your life on the line. So this is the sort of thriller, like that sort of gripping story that I've really been enjoying recently and I have a sneaky feeling that it's going to be one of my favourites because like I said it's just the story of The Stranger which was on Netflix was so like you just couldn't like I just don't know where those ideas even came from like they were so it was such a good series so creatively written and so complex that I think that this will just be another one that sort of blows my mind a little bit and really really looking forward to getting into this one and I mean the um, cover is just so sort of chilling with the girl on it and I know they said don't judge a book by its cover but it just looks like an amazing amazing read. The next one was recommended to me because I had posted I think on book clubs for babes Facebook page and I said look I really enjoyed The Silent Patient absolutely my favourite book that I've read so far this year what can you recommend to me and somebody recommended this one I do believe so this is The Rumour by Leslie Cara and this one says when single mum Joanna hears a rumour at the school gates she never intends to pass it on but one casual comment leads to another and now there's no going back this one says on the front one of us is capable of murder one of us has killed before and then there's one two three four there's five people's feet around the outside again i know don't judge a book by its cover but that's just you know what the story is what the cover is sort of telling me about the story i think that this is going to be one of my favorites just because somebody recommended it because I said that I really enjoyed The Silent Patient and I enjoyed The Silent Patient so much that I really do have high hopes for this one. Another one that I'm excited to get into. I mean, I'm excited to get into all of these. I'm gonna say that about seven million times in this video. <laughs> so the sixth one that I picked up is Claire McIntosh after the end. This one says, Max and Pip are the strongest couple you know, only they're facing the most important decision of their lives and they don't agree. With the consequences of an impossible choice threatening to devastate them both, nothing will ever be the same again, but anything can happen after the end. And I did have a little flick through this one and about halfway through, so this far through, this is the page. It just says after. So I'm assuming that this is like the before, this is the building up to the most important decision of their lives and then anything can happen after the end. So yeah, I'm intrigued by just 
the layout of this book actually and I think that it will be a really beautiful read. Um, I have read a few reviews on this where it says something about they have a son and yeah I'm not going to ruin it for myself by reading too many reviews on these but really looking forward to this one uh number one sunday times bestseller the reviews on the top of the book as well it's they say it's perfect and life affirming so i think that this is going to be one that is a heartwarming one but i don't know there's something about a son so yeah so in my last uh, reading list I had The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell and I really really enjoyed it. It was a little bit, well if you see my last review then you will know what I thought of it but I picked up another one by Lisa Jewell. This is Watching You. It says you think you're safe but what if someone is watching you and I really enjoyed the family upstairs so I wanted to pick up another one by the same author I do sort of enjoy doing that like seeing what other things the same authors have done so this one says on the back you're back home after four years of working abroad you're keen to find a place of your own but for now you're crashing in your big brother's spare room and then you meet the man next door he's the head teacher at this local school twice your age extraordinarily attractive you find yourself watching him all the time you never dreamed that your innocent crush might become a deadly obsession or that someone is watching you this sounds amazing i definitely think i want to pick up some more books by lisa jewel because i'm just really like that just sounds like my perfect book i really really think i'm gonna enjoy this it sounds like the kind of story that i'm really going to enjoy because it has got that sort of romance well, maybe not romance because she's obsessed with him i don't know it just definitely sounds like the sort of right level of thriller versus not romance but like love but then not love because it's obsession do you know what i mean it just sounds like something that i'm really going to enjoy so really really excited to get into this one i think this is going to be the first one that i read i might start this one like as soon as i finish recording let's see how long it takes me to get through this as well because this is a chunky book how many pages is this 483 quite a quite a substantial book for me but yeah i might read this one first <laughs> And then the last one in this book list is Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. Uh, it says, takes your breath away. This has just been recommended over and over and over and over. Every single book club that I'm on has said how beautiful this book is. It's just absolutely a book that I've seen everywhere and I'm excited to get into this one. And this is actually a hardback, so I feel proper grown up reading this one too. So this says, how long can you protect your heart? For years, rumors of the Marsh Girl have haunted Barclay Cove, a quiet town on the North Carolina coast. So in late 1969, when handsome Chase Andrews is found dead, the locals immediately suspect Kaya Clark, the so-called Marsh Girl. But Kaya is not what they say, sensitive and and intelligent she has survived for years alone in the marsh that she calls home finding friends in the gulls and lessons in the sand then the time comes when she yearns to be touched and loved when two young men from town become intrigued by her wild beauty kaya opens herself to a new life until the unthinkable happens perfect for fans of celeste engie I don't know how you say that, I'm sorry. And Barbara Kingsolver, Where the Crawdads Sing, is at once an exquisite ode to the natural world, a heartbreaking coming of age story, and a surprising tale of possible murder. Owens reminds us that we are forever shaped by the children we once were, and that we are all subject to the beautiful and violent secrets that nature keeps. This sounds so lovely. It sounds, I mean, obviously there's murder, so it can't be that lovely, but it just sounds like, I don't know them keep saying about nature. I'm excited to read this one just because it had so many, like everybody, another one, everybody that's read it has said how lovely it is. And everybody that I follow on like these Instagrams and everything has said how beautiful it is. So yeah, another one. And I, I know I've said it, about seven million times in this video but the cover is just so beautiful like that could just sit on your bookcase forever and ever <laughs> just reading the reviews on the back reese witherspoon has said i can't even express how much i love this book i didn't want this story to end 
I really rate Reese Witherspoon actually. She likes a sort of a strong female lead, doesn't she? So yeah, excited. So they are the eight books that I am hopefully going to get read soon. And um, I'm really excited by all of these. Like I said in the last video that I did like this one, I did ask for recommendations um, before and maybe all of them weren't quite exactly what I wanted, but I feel like because I've sort of looked into more books and sort of formed my own idea of what I want to read and things like that all of these books I'm so excited about so I'm definitely going to read all of these and I might even read some of the other ones from my other list that I didn't get read before but I'm really excited to get into all of the ones that I picked up this time so if you have any other recommendations or you think I should definitely read one of these books first then please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. If you have any other recommendations of books that you think I should pick up then please leave those as well because I am always looking to stock up my bookcase and until next time thank you so much for watching. Bye!